and now we're going to talk about what makes our glass special and why our glass doesn't fog up. And in order to do that, we have to kind of have an understanding about all the different types of spacers that are available on the market today. Um, so what we're going to talk about what you'll find on the early builders grade type uh, windows and that's going to be an aluminum type spacer that is rounded like this. It's a roll form metal which just means it goes into a machine and is forced to roll over and take the shape that it is here. And then what they do is they put desiccant inside of it and the desiccant's job is to draw all the moisture out because there's constantly going to be moisture in between an insulated piece of glass. And the way that that happens is, is you've got the, uh, all the energy from the outside trying to make it through this outside piece of glass. And then you've got your heat or your air conditioner, if you will, trying to make it to the outside through this inside piece of glass. Well, anytime you have hot and cold air meeting in the middle, what, what happens? That, that's your moisture. So what's happening is the job of that desiccant that's inside of an insulated glass unit is to draw that moisture out, okay? But whenever you get one that fails, what's happened is all that moisture has dried up now or the seal has been compromised somehow, whether it be at the corners or at the side where the sealant actually meets the glass. And there's a number of ways or a number of reasons why that would fail. Um, but let's talk about that entry level aluminum type spacer. And that's what you see in this window here. And you can actually see the spacer system, a shiny silver metal bar, you can see that through the edge of the glass there, which means you have glass touching metal. Folks, anytime you have glass touching metal, that conducts heat and cold. That's a big no-no, number one. It's just kind of like metal touching metal conducts heat and cold. Same thing when you have glass touching metal, that conducts the heat and cold. But let's talk about how that's actually put together, okay? So whenever you've got an insulated piece of glass, let's just pretend this is one solid sheet of glass here. When they lay that on the table, they take their aluminum spacer bar and they put it right along the edge here and then they'll put another one along this side, another one here. But the way that they're joined together at the corners is they have a, what they call a plastic corner key and it actually slides into the opening here, okay? And so you put a plastic corner key in here, so you've got one, two, three, four places that we, what we would call an open corner. That allows air to be able to get in. It allows air to be able to escape. Okay, so that's one of the downfalls of that window. Because while you've got the four corners there, remember, you still have a top piece and a bottom piece of it. And so that's two more just on one side. So there's a lot of openings on, an, on a conventional, what we, this is what we call a conventional type spacer system. There's a lot of openings around there for air to be able to be, uh, or for the seal to be able to be compromised. Now, when they put that on there, there's no sealant. See, this is glass touching metal, just like what you have in this spacer system here. That's glass touching metal. So they put that on raw glass, and once that's sandwiched all the way around, they put the other piece of glass on top of it, and then they take what, would, what they call hot melt type sealant and wrap it around the perimeter. That's the black stuff that you see going around the perimeter here, or polyisobutylene, if you will. Now that's one of the other problems with that glass. That's why the design, the design of this piece of glass here is not meant to last more than five, six, seven years tops. Um, you do see some of them that do last longer, but some of them will fail in you know, the first year even. But generally, five, six, seven years is what you can expect out of that. Um, now, one of the other problems that you have is this is all put together with a human being, okay? And what that means is anytime a human being is involved, mistakes can happen, right? So when we take this spacer system and we go to put it on here, what are we doing? We're touching it with our fingers. We got all of our body oil on there. And when we put our body oil on there, that doesn't allow that sealant anywhere that our fingers have touched and it's got body oil, it doesn't allow that sealant to be able to, to adhere to it. And so that's another area that can be compromised. Okay, so that's why you have foggy windows. When you walk around the neighborhood and you see everybody else uh, in your neighborhood with foggy windows, it's because they all have the same type of spacer system. Okay, now there's another type of spacer system that uh, they have come up with that they thought was going to be really good, and it's what we call swiggle seal. And and there was a time that that was supposed to be the thing to have in your house. Now spacer system is kind of like uh, what you see here, and hopefully I'm holding it up to where you can see it in the video, but it's basically a piece of, just think of it as like a piece of rope, 
but it's a butyl that's spun on a spool and, and as it rolls off it comes off like a piece of rope and they lay it around the perimeter of it okay and uh, so and it's got the desiccant that's built right into it now what will happen is let's say that your piece of glass like this one here is three quarters of an inch thick that swiggle seal might make it to where when we sandwich that other piece of glass on top of that swiggle, it might be an inch thick. Well, what happens is it gets fed into an oven then, and those oven, the oven has rollers on it, and they're set in increments, uh, making it to where it goes to three quarters of an inch. So as this piece of glass is fed into that oven, it's being heated up, and those rollers are compressing it until it ultimately gets to the rollers that have it compressed to three quarters of an inch. So it's a heat process to get this sealed up. Very, very good, okay? However, one, remember the fault of the human being, okay? Remember when you take that uh, rope or that swiggle, if you will, off the spool and you lay it across there, you're actually touching it and uh, once again getting your body oils on there and so it's not able to seal up the way that it should. But look at what happens when it's, it's uh, left to uh, the heat or even body oil because this one was actually created here in the showroom um, it was not uh, it subjected to the heat at all. This is just because of body oil being on the spacer system. And we see this time and time again where that swiggle goes into what we call the sideline of the glass. And hopefully you can see that. That actually should be tucked away to where you don't see it. But it's actually starting to uh, ooze to the center. It's no longer doing the job it was meant to do. Okay? So, <clears throat> that brought the technology to what we call intercept spacers. Now the intercept is something that you will see on a lot of the builder's grain homes now. Um, and the thing that made this real nice is that now we have taken out the element of the human being making the mistakes. And we have put, made it to where this is all automated. A human being does not actually touch this. We don't have the open corners. Oh, and it, on the swiggle seal, we don't have open corners there like what we do with the metal spacer bar like you do on this one. It's a continual seal all the way around, so very good. Intercept is done the same way. No open corners. A machine will actually crimp the corner and it makes the turn. Now the problem with that is, on an intercept, whenever it crimps it, it in order to make, uh, to make the turn, you actually re open up the corner at the top and the bottom. So it's not a complete uh, seal right there at the corner. And, and it does have less sealant at the corners than what it would on the sides. Um, and it does have the stainless steel, um, but it's not coated. So therefore it does uh, conduct the heat and cold a little bit. And then it has a very, very thin membrane of desiccant on the interior, which allows, you know, does not allow for it to draw out very much moisture. And, you know, there was a time when we thought that that was a good thing to have too. But what we have recognized is that this is actually failing just as quickly as the conventional type glass. So generally when it's uh, sitting in a house, five, six, seven years is all you're getting out of this. And this is something that uh, um, you know, folks that have invested in the machine to do this are not going to change out because that machine's just over a million dollars to be able to make this. So once you've invested in that, you're going to stick with it. Um, but strictly a builder's grade uh, type product. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what, what we have started to uh, mess around with uh, for our foggy window repairs is we mess around with what we call triple seal spacer systems. And the triple seal spacer system uh, actually has three areas that it seals up. Now, we do have the element of the human being. However, what's really nice about this, remember on our aluminum spacer bar, whenever we lay that on the glass, there's nothing sealing it up. It doesn't get sealed up until the secondary piece of glass goes on there and then you wrap it with the sealant. But look at what happens whenever we put our spacer system on here with our triple seal. Um, this has got a thin uh, uh, layer that we've got to remove here. So we'll, we'll remove that and we'll go ahead and put it right on the edge like it's supposed to be then look at there. It's already sealed up to the glass. Okay? And we're going to do that with the secondary piece of glass. Put it on and it's already sealed up. Remember, when we put this on, it's glass touching metal. There's nothing to seal it uh, to the glass until you put the hot melter, the polyisobutylene that's water soluble. You know, moisture gets to it and it breaks it down. This one, we haven't even put sealant on it yet and it's already sealed to the glass. Okay? going to put the secondary piece on there and it's going to stick to it too and then 
we're still going to take a bead of sealant and wrap it around the perimeter of it. So you got two seals there. So where's the third one at, you ask? Very good question. Let me, uh, let me grab one piece and I'll show you. If we look at this uh, spacer here, this is our triple seal. And see the silver backing right here? That's our Mylar fin and it actually folds right over top of the desiccant right here. So what that's doing, that mylar fin, that's actually sealing that up so that way all the gas and the air stays inside. Just like a mylar um, a balloon, uh, it keeps the helium inside or the gas inside. Same concept there. Whenever it gets to the corners, remember we had issues with open corners on our metal spacers here. This is a continual sealant or continual seal all the way around even at the corners. It just wraps the corner and, and keeps on going. So you got one seal here where it sticks to the edge of it. You got the mylar fin that seals up the uh, gases inside and keeps, keeps the um, moisture and the gas and the air on the outside. And then we still wrap it with sealant all the way around the perimeter of it. That's our triple seal spacer system. That's why we can give you a 20 year written warranty whenever you do the foggy window repair. Okay. But now, what do we do whenever we are putting in our vinyl windows? Why is it that we can give you a, a reverse risk warranty of $100 uh, should a piece of glass fail in that first 20 years, um, even though the window has a lifetime warranty covering parts and labor? Well, what we do is we take uh, what we call Cardinal does an XL edge. And this glass comes from Cardinal. It's actually insulated by Cardinal. Uh, not to be confused with some of the other competitors that are out there that will buy their glass from Cardinal, but they buy it in maybe the 12 by 12 foot sheets and then they insulate it themselves. And they might be using one of these type of spacer systems to put on Cardinal glass, okay? That, that's just not going to work for you folks, okay? And uh, we've already demonstrated that and part of our business is doing the foggy window repair and that's what makes us a little unique is the fact that we are a glass uh, service company and a window service company so we're, we're the only one here in uh, Dallas Fort Worth that actually works both sides of that game okay so we know what works and we know what doesn't work so in order to get the best performance spacer bar and the best performing piece of glass you're going to have to order it from Cardinal where they insulate it themselves. They will not sell you their good stuff and let you insulate it uh, yourself. Um, what they do, they take a uh, stainless steel um, tin coated uh, spacer system. Um, so it has a low conductivity and it actually has a bent corner. And this is actually used if you were to go to a um, look at any of the, uh, your skyscrapers when you walk around downtown area or in a lot of your commercial buildings, they all have this bent corner uh, deep inside. That's your XL Edge spacer system. Uh, that is unique to Cardinal, and uh, that actually uh, meets the commercial codes because glass does what they call delamination. What delamination means is the two panes of glass, whenever the seals fail, the two panes of glass fall apart from one another. Folks, you can't have a 10-story building with a piece of glass falling apart and falling down onto the sidewalk where all the pedestrians are walking. So what are they doing differently? They take their spacer system that's all automated and, and bend the corners. And then if you look real, uh, real closely at this piece of glass, you'll see that there's a dark gray sealant that goes along here. You don't see that metal touching this glass at all. That dark gray is the polyisobutylene, which is just like the black stuff that you see here. The polyisobutylene is water soluble, so any moisture gets to it, it, it breaks down. And that's why all these other pieces go bad, because it's, it's exposed to the uh, moisture. It's not exposed to the moisture here, because you still see the light gray going around the perimeter of it. That's actually structural silicone. That's what makes this glass so unique, is the structural silicone going around it. So they use the polyisobutylene to insulate the glass from the spacer system, so we don't have glass touching metal. And then we use structural silicone to hold the glass together so that way it does not delaminate. Think of it like this. If you have a 10-story building and it gets a foggy piece of glass and you've got to replace it, how are you going to do that? You're going to have to shut down the street. That ain't going to happen. Um, so they want to make sure that they're building something that isn't going to allow that to be an issue. And that's why we use the XL Edge. Um, and that's why we can give you a reverse risk warranty when you buy the vinyl windows and give you $100 
should this piece of glass fog up, not only are we going to fix it, but we're bringing a hundred dollars for your inconvenience. I hope that I have said that enough to where you understand it. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call.